All right, I'm gonna do a video. It's 2017 in February. It's like 72 degrees. I'll do a little update here for the family and some of the friends. I, uh, that's the original patio from day, God, from years ago. It's 12 by 12. Then a while back, I added this piece right here in the middle. It's like an eight by 12. Then I poured the driveway. It's about a 20 by 22. I did it in two steps. I did the driveway up there. I could do up to the gravel, but then from the gravel to the street, I gotta have a permit. I uh, got the new truck. Unfortunately, I had to get rid of the car. She broke down and got kind of upside down on that, but I got a good deal on this truck. Uh, poured the other slab up there from the house to the driveway, about six feet right there. And then after that, I poured this little transition right here. I didn't know what I was gonna do. It's a little higher, but it's like a six by 12. I uh, haven't done much for the roofing or nothing like that. As you can see, the patio's got all the furniture laid out and so forth. I'm uh, going to take you guys around the back. Uh, the driveway is 4,000 PSI, not for those of you who want to know, but it's uh, like four and a half inches to five. My garage is actually an 18 inch rock wall. The rest of the house is actually cinder block. I'm going to add a wall about two inches out and then pour concrete in between uh, plywood and that wall right there trying to fix that rock wall that's deteriorated within time you see how some of the rocks right there kind of started to fall out and so forth i got a window boarded up but it's going to be all concreted up about an, two inches of concrete the roof is still flat i'm going to actually keep it flat but i'm going to actually do some uh repairs on it tomorrow it's going to be Saturday. I'm going to actually pour a 10 by 16 slab right here. You can see where the rock wall of the garage meets the center block. And all this is going to be poured to keep the water away from the house. The wood is all ugly and rotted over there, as you can see, but it's brand new from here over to the house. I've done all that. All <laughs> They never even had a piece there. Uh, as for the yard, you can see I'm building up right here to pour concrete all the way down little by little. I mean, tomorrow that slab is going to cost me 400 bucks. I used to have a huge tree right there. It's gone. It was a huge V-shaped like elm tree, nasty old welfare tree, whatever you want to call it. You know, uh, this tree's got some sort of vines growing on with berries and so forth. I've we cut down quite a bit of it. Neighbor's yard looks really cool. She just got a new hot tub and so forth. We filled in this trench right over here. It was a huge dip right there. It was lower than even down here, but as you can see this never grows so i'm going to dry, make it a driveway all the way to the backyard here i've got these yellow flags staking out how and if i want my garage here or farther back i think i want it farther back because i want to move that shed to the corner possibly i'm actually thinking about getting a pool house and maybe putting that over there uh but yeah i'm going to do a tongue and groove roof and then just have it nice and flat and then run metal roofing there's the neighbor right there. Say hello, Karen. <laughs> going to get rid of the gas line. I'm going to put a couple of windows in this year. And that's about it for the update. You all be good.